These players have been all about defense lately. Here are the steel leaders in the NBA this month. Freak number one. Really been fantastic defensively. He's had more than his share of steals, and now he's looking to get more. 131 left in the first half. Here's Temple. He's guarded by Chandler. Six on the shot clock. To the middle. Here's Lee. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. Lee's got his first points of the night. Really nice dime dropping there. Playmaking ability is exactly what you get from Isaiah Thomas. And Freak throws it down. And how about a little bit of showmanship there as he increases the lead? Oh, I like that. That's got to be, though, a tough pill for the defense to swallow. Well, he's a guy that you know can hurt you with his passing. And right there, he does some damage with his finishing, too. Smart kicks to Johnson. Thomas gets a wide-open look. A three-pointer off the mark. No doubt the quarter just not going his way. Still scoreless. Chandler, no good. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through traffic. Here's Lee. Great defense that time from Andrews. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the board. You know what? No rebounds, no rings, and they've controlled the boards, and that's what's given them control of this game. The Nuggets shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Both teams deciding to change it up. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. The Nuggets on top, up. Thanks, Kev. And now the third quarter had to get going. Nice game, great performance by Kenneth Faree. Just a dominating performance in the post by him so far. Just tearing them to shreds when he gets it inside. Yeah, and getting it to him is the only hard part, fellas. I mean, once he has it, he's automatic. Forget about it. He can do work down there. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. On the floor for Boston. We've got Jared Sollinger. David Lee is out there with Johnson. Then it's Thomas. And it's Temple in at the shooting guard. Now oh, here's Freak. He feeds it to Chandler. Here's Barton. Hits it from three-point range. Barton's got the first basket of the third quarter for the Nuggets. His ball distribution tonight just as good as it gets. Yeah, it sure has been. I mean, all you have to do is look at the numbers. There's no line in those totals. Shots good by Lee. Obviously, a mix-up defensively on that possession. The Nuggets leading by 10. Here's Andrews. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Freak's got 12 points in the game. Boston's gone 3 of 7 tonight from three-point territory. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Chandler. Off the inbound. And the shot is good. The Denver lead has been cut down now to just 10 points with that basket from Thomas. He got a little room at the rim and laid it in. Great play. To the paint. Poked away. Lee with the steal. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. All right, a chance to look at some stats for Jarrett Sullinger. The past month has been surreal. He's averaging 14 points a game, 10 rebounds, and 4 assists. All around brilliance for him lately. And guys, he's really taken his play to another level. He sure has. I mean, game by game, you can just see the confidence growing. He's put up large numbers to prove it. Crowder, he's checked in for Boston. And what a beautiful way to polish off that sequence. Just strong at attacking the rim. That just puts a little more momentum on their side, don't you think? Absolutely. The defense got to tighten up now. I mean, you can't have the opposing point guard throwing down on you like that. J.J. Hickson, he's checked in for Denver. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. 
Here's Sowinger. Boston again missing. The Nuggets leading by 12. He had stolen by Sowinger. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Thomas. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. Smarts checked in for the Celtics. Both free throws good from Isaiah Thomas. Steady work at the free throw line. Just what we're used to seeing out of him. Now here's Freak. He's guarded by Thomas. Freak dishes to Hickson. Fareed inside. Sullinger defending. Andrews passes to Fareed. Knocks down the 10-footer. Fareed's got 13. Just lazy defense on the glass there. Well, nobody boxed out. Nobody put a body on anybody else. Things like that not only drive the coach crazy, that stuff gets under my skin. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. He's a big reason why they have the lead right now. He's made all of his field goal attempts thus far and remains hot from the floor. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Hey, guys. Well, Brad Stevens had some advice for the team over that last break. He told his guys that their offense needed to run through Solinger. Coach emphasized getting him as many touches as possible, saying he is going to be one of the guys to carry us the rest of the way. Coach was not wasting any time in altering their strategy here in the second half, and Kevin, he's going to have to hope those changes take effect quickly. And as always, Doris, thank you. He had stolen by Sullinger. Now here's Smart. He's guarded closely. And a wide open look for Freak. And Gallinari kicks to Fareed. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Five on the clock. Now the feed to Barton. And again, Denver with the triple. Oh, they are putting the hammer down. A huge lead right now. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if we're talking about their offense or their defense. I mean, it's all been good. I only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball with one of their own. Greg, we've got a three-point battle taking shape here. Now here's Fareed. 13 points in the game. Freight dishes to Hickson. Shot is no good. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. And every once in a while, he'll show up and give you some great moves around the hoop. Here's Freak after the basket by Boston. That is good. And that's 15 points for Kenneth Fareed. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync, tremendous communication and awareness. Now here's Smart. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Back to Thomas. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got three assists tonight. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. Here's Andrews. There he goes again. That's his ninth straight basket. He's a perfect nine for nine. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Picked by Lee. And Thomas, here we go. No good from Lee. The bucket just not well protected, but still he doesn't convert too often. That's been the story with him. Hicks in a screen. Gallinari in the corner. Feeds it to Freak. Puts up a three. And again, Denver with the triple. Not shy from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and getting them up. Love the mentality there, I tell you. I know I've never coached, but man, playing to win and being aggressive even with the lead as opposed to being safe and going into prevent offense, I'll take the former all day long. Play to win. That misses. Would have kind of had it gone in. 
Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. And we're getting underway here in the fourth quarter. The scoreboard tells the story in this matchup. Substitution here for Denver. Fareed's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Chandler comes in for Gallinari. Martin's checked in for Lee. And Freak subbed in for Moutier. Andrews in at point guard. Chandler and Fareed are at the forward spots. Then it's Will Barton, and it's Winner in at the five down low. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Barton passes to Andrews. He kicks to Fareed. Now here's Freak, guarded by Bradley. Here's Barton. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. And it's still a close game. I mean, despite the fact that they've struggled to compete on the board. Yeah, you know, but down the stretch here, guys, they'll summon that extra effort to try and get it done, I think. Well, Celtics making a switch here. The Nuggets leading by 14 off the inbound. And Freak with the layup. Freak's got 10 points here in the second half. And the interior D is really starting to be exposed here. How many layups have they got today? And Temple kicks to Sullinger. Pass to Thomas. Johnson the screen. Stolen by Fareed. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Nuggets. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, Clark, things go your way. The other team doesn't get too many lucky breaks themselves. Well, it's more than luck, Kevin. I think the shot selection was good, too. And so checking out the record for these guys tonight will mark win number 37 for them on the year. And with this win, it gives them a sweep of the season series, even though it's just a brief two-gamer. I tell you what, Greg, no matter how brief it is, anytime you can get a season series sweep, you're happy. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was for Freak. You have to focus on the steals he came up with. They were huge factors in the end result. You know, one of the basic fundamentals in basketball is the ability to box out. He's got that down pat. Johnson kicks to Sullinger. And Fareed sends it back. Thomas dishes the lead. The second chance effort. And that's out of bounds. Boston will return possession. And a new group in for the Celtics. Marshall, he's checked in for Jared Sullinger. Jones comes in for David Lee. Marcus Marks checked in for Johnson. And Corey Joseph subbed in for Thomas. Forty-one seconds left in the fourth quarter. Marshall. And Joseph kicks to Smart. Marshall sets a screen for Smart. Pass to Marshall. Good, and Marshall. Smart gets the assist. It, it really, the defense didn't do a lot to fight around that screen on that possession. Balanced scoring, Clark, for them. They're moving it well. Yeah, you love to see teams share the sugar. Everybody getting yeah. a touch, everybody enjoying an opportunity to score. That makes it a lot of fun for everybody on the court. You know, it sounds better when you say it than watching it. Okay? <laughs> I like better when you say it. Sharing the sugar. <laughs> you, need to, you might want to cut down on that sugar intake, though, Clark. But anyway, everybody's been involved in this offense here early on, and it has a way of helping you defensively. Very <laughs> 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 The, the, the offense has clearly kicked into gear. The question, though, is it just a little too late? Yeah, I think it may be, Greg. At least they're finally showing some signs of life offensively. Um, too bad, I think it's past the point where it'll do much good. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. They certainly put on... The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we have the opportunity to present our Freak. How'd you feel about his performance, Kenny? I know Freak's going to have a lot of people back home in Harlem extremely proud of the way he played tonight. And they should be proud of him because his play was genius. Just a textbook example of how to gain a mental edge and continue to exploit it. Well, just look at his assists. I mean, that tells the story for the game right there. He was seeing the court so well, always seemed to make the right decision. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that wraps things up, folks. Thanks for joining us for Shaquille.